And right now, a question from Lucy Locke, please. Are Amber Rudd's proposals for companies to disclose how many foreign workers they employ encouraging xenophobia and racism in the UK? There's been a lot of criticism of what Amber Rudd said at the party conference and what she's said uh, since then. I think this is a wholly deplorable idea and utterly irrelevant to immigration control and actually discredits the notion of the need for immigration control. We're adding to the population of this country at the minute, the United Kingdom, that is, a city the size of Cardiff every year from immigration alone. The scale of the inflow is what's the cause of the problem. When we joined the European Union, or the common market as we called it in those days, back in 1973, we were nine countries of broadly similar uh, economic prosperity. So we didn't have these vast movements across boundaries that we have today. The problem within the European Union was caused largely from 2004 when countries which were pro formerly behind the Iron Curtain uh, became members of the European Union and their income levels were a small fraction on average of what ours are in this country. So of course people want to come and better their condition of life uh, and they want to move to countries where they can earn more money and live a better life for their families. A wholly admirable notion. The problem is that if the scale of the migration is too fast then that creates social problems in the countries to which these people are coming. So we're not against immigrants as such. They're not the cause of the problem as individuals. The problem is the scale of the flow and immigration has to be controlled otherwise all sorts of other problems of course and that is what actually creates racism and xenophobia. And, and you don't see Amber Rudd's proposals as trying to... I don't think that it'll make staunch. the slightest contribution to immigration, immigration. control all right. at all, and I think it discredits the argument, and therefore it's counterproductive.